Hey, this is Scott. Thanks for watching my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe uh, to to my videos. Um, I post lots of things about uh, home improvements and DIY. And today I'm going to talk about upgrading my pool lights uh, with this, uh, which I bought on Amazon. It was around 50 bucks. They have some more powerful ones, which are more expensive. But I'm going to explain why I chose a surface mount light or why I had to get a surface mount light. Um, so let's take a look. I actually bought a spare one so we can look at it here in the box. It's uh, I guess it's just over a foot wide roughly um, and it is surface mount so it comes with this bracket, it comes with some screws I didn't use the screws, I was kind of wary of that. So I used some uh, epoxy uh, to effectively glue this to the wall. Now you'll see that there's no cable, right? And so let me explain why I had to get uh, a surface mount light. So if you have one of these in your garden, in your yard, you will know that uh, this is a fiber uh, or originally was a fiber pool light system my pool is from 1996 and fiber lights were all the rage unfortunately they always broke so uh, sr smith one of the manufacturers came out with this like retrofit kit for led lights that is one of the led lights it's tiny, it's like maybe two or three inches uh, in diameter and they're, I think they're five watts each so they're very weak. So when I bought this house that was what was installed over here and neither it or the spa light worked. So uh, of course I looked into the options and yeah, you could buy replacement light. Um, they're not cheap. They're, I think, about 150 bucks each just for those little LED lights. And they're really not powerful at all. Um, they're only 5 watts. And this one, uh, this one's 25 watts. It also comes in, in uh, you know, more powerful uh, versions as well. So, knowing that I only had one light, for the whole pool and my pool is not small I mean it's 30 plus feet long um, you know one five watt light is absolutely not going to be sufficient so effectively what I did was I removed the old LED light I used the cable that was in the uh, return to pull through uh, a new cable and hook up this this light and it really has been great and I'm going to show you in a minute what it looks like when it's dark Oh, one other thing to know, it's kind of good, both good and bad, um, it's remote controlled. So uh, that's fine, um, but it means I have to turn it on manually every day. And the reason for that is that it does not remember its last setting. So, all of, so when you turn it on, it goes through this cycle of uh, patterns, right? Um, which is super annoying, because uh, all I really want is blue. B for blue, CY is cyan, W is white. So it has a, a few different colors, red and green, yellow, purple. Um, red and green and yellow in particular look terrible. Um, the sort of bluer ones work a lot better. Um, and then there's some patterns that sort of cycle through. But yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't remember the last settings. So if I had it on a timer, which I totally could, um, it would just start in this random pattern um, every day. So let's go forward to nighttime. I'll show you what it looks like. But first, <laughs> let's take a look what the pool looks like without any light switched on. Is there anything worse than a pool without a pool light? Look how dark and gloomy this is. The pool is transformed. Beautiful blue light, and it's safer as well. The code says you are supposed to have a light on in the pool, and it looks great. Why wouldn't you want one? Turned out it was very difficult for me to do this 
because of the type of lighting that was installed. And once it broke, it was really expensive to fix. But I found a much cheaper solution using a light that costs just 50 bucks on Amazon. One final thing, um, you'll find this light and others like it on, on Amazon. Um, search for LED pool lights or LED pool surface lights. This particular brand is called Epimic, E-A-P-M-I-C, all one word. Um, one very important point that I just want to make is that uh, like all pool, well, like a lot of pool lights, um, this runs in 12 volts AC, not DC, AC. And so you do need a proper pool transformer. Um, make sure that you have a transformer that has enough power and that's 12 volts AC, alternating current, and is a, a proper uh, physical transformer, not electronic. Um, a transformer will, uh, you know, be uh, safe um, given that uh, this is in the water. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know.